Hello everyone, we will be solving systems of nonlinear equations by elimination. Ang given natin ay x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. We let this be our equation 1. Tapos yung pangalawa natin, our equation 2, this is x squared plus 2y is equal to 8. Yung given natin na equations ay nonlinear kasi yung variables natin na x at y, hindi na lang sila limited sa exponent na 1. Kung makikita natin, we have our x squared y squared, pareho sa equation 2, meron ding x squared. Sa elimination, kailangan nating pumili ng variable na tatanggalin natin. Either yung merong x or merong y. Kaya kung titignan natin yung given values, meron tayong x squared kay equation 1, tsaka x squared kay equation 2. Kaso nga lang, yung y natin, meron tayong y squared, tsaka 2y. What I would like to suggest para mas madalian tayo sa ating elimination, ay piliin natin yung variable na yung terms ay common sa ating dalawang equations. Since yung y ay merong y squared at 2y, mas mahihirapan tayo na i-eliminate yung terms na to. So that is why we will be selecting yung x squared ng equation 1 at equation 2. Kapag nakapili na tayo ng variable na tatanggalin, ang next step ay hanapin natin yung additive inverse nung term natin. Kapag sinabi natin na additive inverse, ano yung pwede kong i-add sa kanya? para yung sagot natin ay maging 0. Kaya kung ang tatanggalin natin ay x squared, kailangan natin magdagdag ng negative x squared para maging 0 siya. Kaya ang gagawin natin, kukunin natin yung equation 1, tapos i-add natin yung negative nung equation 2. Gagawin natin to para makapagproduce tayo ng negative x squared dito. So we get the negative nung buong equation 2, eto ay magiging Yung left side ay negative x squared. Tapos babalik ta rin natin yung sign ng 2y. So this will become negative 2y. Tapos yung nasa right side na positive 8 will become negative 8. Then gawin na natin yung addition. Kunin natin yung equation 1. This is just equal to x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. Then yung negative ng equation 2, eto na yun. So we have negative x squared. Iuusod ko lang yung equation 1 natin, yung 16, ililipat ko siya dito para mas kita natin yung ating addition. Kasi wala naman sa equation 2 natin na merong y squared. So ilalagay natin dito si negative 2y and then this is equal to negative 8. Naglagay lang tayo ng space para pagdating natin dito sa addition, as per our operation here, iaad natin yung equation 1 dun sa negative na equation 2. Kapag ginawa natin to x squared minus x squared, this will become 0. Tapos dahil wala namang y squared sa equation 2, so this is still y squared. Tapos equation 1, wala naman tayong merong variable na y, so this is still negative 2y, this is equal to, yung nasa right side, pwede nating i-add, 16 plus negative 8, this is just equal to positive 8. Now we arrive at this equation na ang variable na involved lang ay y. Then we solve for its value, ilipat natin yung 8 dun sa kabilang side ng ating equation para makarating tayo sa isang quadratic equation. So this is y squared minus 2y, then si positive 8 will become negative 8, right side is equal to 0. Then para makuha natin yung value ng y, kunin natin yung factors by trial and error. Kunin natin yung factors ng first term natin na y or y squared na y times y lang. Then kukuhanin natin yung factors ng ating third term na negative 8 na kapag binultiply natin sa y, tsaka sa y, and then kinuha natin yung sum, dapat ang sagot ay negative 2y. So by trial and error, we will be picking yung factors ng negative 8 na negative 4 and positive 2. Kasi kapag kaginawa natin to, negative 4 times y, yung nasa loob, this is equal to negative 4y. Tapos yung nasa labas, y times 2, this is just equal to positive 2y. And then kapag pinag-add natin sila, this is equal to negative 2y, which is our middle term. Kaya yung factors natin na y minus 4 times y plus 2 is equal to 0 ay tama. So with this, makakakuha tayo ng dalawang values ng y. Para makuha natin sila, let us solve it separately. Mag-umpisa muna tayo dun sa y minus 4 is equal to 0, equate natin sa 0 yung y minus 4 tsaka yung y plus 2. Sulat ko na rin yung y plus 2 is equal to 0. Then to solve for the value of y, ililipat lang natin yung negative 4. 
saka yung positive 2 sa kabilang side ng ating equation. So we have the value of y, which is just equal to from negative 4, this will become positive 4. Tapos yung y natin na nasa kabila, from positive 2, this will become negative 2. Ito yung dalawang values ng ating y. But still, hindi pa rin tayo tapos sa ating proseso. Kailangan pa natin kuhanin yung values ng ating x. So let us remember y is equal to 4 and negative 2. Balikan natin yung ating given equations. Para makuha natin yung values ng x, pipili tayo either sa equation 1 or equation 2 na pwede nating i-substitute yung value ng y. Para mas madalian tayo, piliin na natin yung mas simple which is our equation 2. So we write down our equation 2 which is x squared plus 2y is equal to 8. Then as we remember, meron tayong dalawang values ng y. Kaya dalawang beses din tayo magkocompute. Now let us do it separately. Mag-umpisa muna tayo sa unang value ng y which is, according to our computation here, positive 4. Kaya isulat na natin, at y is equal to positive 4. I-substitute lang natin yung 4 dito sa y na nandito. So we have x squared plus 2 times y is 4 is equal to 8. Then we simplify x squared plus 2 times 4 is 8. This is equal to 8. Then para makuha natin yung value ng x, ilipat natin yung 8 sa kabilang side. So we have x squared is equal to positive 8. Tapos yung nandito, this will become negative. Kaya this is minus 8. Then yung value ng x squared natin will just become equal to 0. Kaso ang kailangan lang natin ay yung x, kaya kailangan nating tanggalin yung exponent na 2. So we get the square root ng both sides ng ating equation. The square root of x squared, this is just equal to x. And then the square root of 0, this is just equal to 0. Kapag ang value ng y natin is 4, then ang x natin is equal to 0. Then for our second one, isolve naman natin if our y is equal to negative 2. Then let us proceed with our computation. We are solving at y is equal to negative 2. Same process from our equation here, papalitan lang natin si y ng negative 2. So we have x squared plus 2, y is negative 2 is equal to positive 8. Then simplify lang natin, x squared is equal to 2 times negative 2, this is negative 4 is equal to 8. Ililipat lang natin si negative 4 sa kabila, so this will become positive, kaya ito ay magiging x squared is equal to 8 plus 4. Then ang x squared natin is just equal to 12. Again, ang kailangan lang natin ay yung x, so we need to remove our exponent of 2. Para gawin yon. Kunin natin yung square root ng both sides ng ating equation. The value of our x is just simply equal to the square root of 12 kapag ang y natin is equal to negative 2. Isulat na lang natin sa baba. We have our ordered pairs na kapag ang x is 0, ang y natin is 4. And then dito naman sa kabila, ang x natin is square root of 12 tapos ang y natin is negative 2. Then for our last step, let us do our checking para malaman natin kung tama ba yung ginawa natin na computation. Again, let us use our simpler equation 2. Balikan lang natin siya. Yung equation 2 natin is x squared plus 2y is equal to 8. Kaya isulat natin siya dito ulit. We have our equation as x squared plus 2y is equal to 8. Then, unahin natin yung ating unang ordered pair, which is 0 and positive 4. Kaya from our equation, yung x palitan natin ng 0, tapos yung y we substitute 4. So, we have x squared is 0 squared plus 2, ang y natin is 4, is equal to 8. Then, yung 0 squared is just equal to 0, tapos 2 times 4, that is 8. This is equal to 8. Then, our 8 is equal to 8. Tama yung unang pair natin na 0 and 4. Then for our second ordered pair, ang gagamitin natin na x is square root of 12, ang y naman is negative 2. Kaya still, from this equation, our x squared will become the square root of 12 and then squared plus 2. Ang y na gagamitin natin is negative 2. Then our right side, this is still equal to positive 8. 
Then, ang square root of 12 and then squared, mawawala lang to. So, we have our 12 plus 2 times negative 2. This is negative 4 is equal to 8. Then, finally, 12 plus negative 4, that is simply equal to 8. That is equal to 8. Tama rin yung values ng x and y natin na square root of 12 and negative 2. So, this is the process kung paano tayo magko-compute ng values ng x and y kapag given tayo ng systems of nonlinear equations. Hello everyone! I am Sir Kenneth of STEM Teacher PH. Kung nakatulong sa'yo itong video na to, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell para updated kayo sa ating uploads. Bye!